Hello, uh, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a end of day uh, market analysis of the European indices on the 6th of uh, April, Wednesday, 2016. Before I start and commence, please do uh, visit www.tradesignaler.com and download the latest app on Google Play and Apple Store. And you can certainly stream my latest analysis along with others via CFDs.com. Okay, now in terms of the market close, let's just bring up the uh, actual uh, economic data and uh, see where these markets certainly closed. Uh, the US markets certainly are trading up on the back of uh, European indices. Uh, late day burst or late day rally, uh, FTSE finishing around the 6160 level, up 1%. The DAX and uh, European indices are overall lagging given the uh, strength of the euro. Uh, the CAC and the DAX obviously both up by uh, 0.6 and 0.8% respectively. That's in the back of a weaker Asian market, so the Nikkei was certainly down 0.1%, the Hang Seng was up, and the Shanghai was more or less flat, stroke negative. Okay, Now, in terms of economic news flow or economic data itself, uh, today we had uh, two stronger reports overall from the German market construction and industrial production, so it came uh, coming out slightly better than expected. Uh, other than that, we had mortgage applications, and obviously the main reason or cause for the rally was... Uh, Especially with regards to FTSE was due to oil. Okay, if I just bring up a chart of oil, I did explain to you yesterday that the oil price was certainly into support. So if I bring up a chart of oil, you can see that this thrust high that we had at the lower channel, so previous resistance equals support, and we are into that 200 MA on the FTSE. Now the daily chart is actually retesting that to H&S neckline, uh, given the fact that oil inventory data certainly um, came out towards the downside and supported the higher price in oil. Okay, given the uh, supply constraints. Uh, are now uh, alleviating okay and the supply certainly has dropped quite substantially and that obviously helps and supports the oil price and that's why we've seen this spike in the FTSE itself okay that really is a summation of today really other than the fact that um, we obviously have had concerns with regards to Russian growth we've had concerns uh, the income okay yes uh, so the, uh, the uh, reason we think we had some report with regards to Ukraine potentially stopping imports of oil and that certainly is another factor as well other than that just looking at my uh, my chart my uh, uh, chart here explaining all the uh, pros and cons of the market yes we did have Chinese economic data strong overnight uh, and Japanese leading index certainly stronger as well UK shop price index higher H&M profits higher I think that's it really in terms of fundamentals let's look at the technicals now and see exactly where we are positioned now. I did explain to you in the German DAX that we did have a bullish setup. I uh, posted my midday analysis given the uh, gap fill support looking for a potential bounce. And that's exactly what we received. Now, uh, the 10 minute chart in the German DAX, we failed to play out the inverted head and shoulders because obviously we uh, the right shoulder was certainly very weak. Okay, it was more of a technical breakout as opposed to a pattern breakout. For now, You've certainly put in a double bottom on the German DAX. So any retest or retracement here in 9580 will be a key support zone for the German DAX. And then obviously the next level will be 9690 on the upside for the uh, German DAX. Okay. I understand. Okay. So certainly an impressive thrust on the German DAX itself. Uh, as you can see here, that double bottom certainly has held to a, to a large extent. Okay, now in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC. Okay, so again, that uh, gap fill certainly holding there. 60 minute chart, certainly horizontal support and gap fill holding, looking for a potential move higher. And that ultimate move higher will be towards that gap fill at 4340, 4350 zone. Okay, all right. Okay, now in terms of FTSE 100, very impressive move. That whole thrust is mainly due to oil, no other reason except oil. And we are now coming into resistance on the uh, FTSE 100. So that's something that you certainly need to uh, take into consideration. If you do continue to push higher, then that 6180 zone is your next level of uh, of resistance on the uh, FTSE itself. So certainly very, very impressive. Even the 10-minute chart, you can see here, we certainly have thrusted higher. And it's all related to oil, okay? That really is the summation with regards to the FTSE. So uh, certainly an impressive move, to say the least. Okay, now you do have resistance. At the um, 6160 zone, okay, so certainly watch out for that. Uh, again, if that fails and you are looking at resistance at the 6180 zone, certainly seems to be overbought, especially given the fact that oil is retesting that HS neckline. So you are looking for a potential uh, fall, okay, so certainly bear that in mind. 
Okay, so uh, the for the intro markets obviously are dependent upon the price of oil to a large extent. But the one thing that we can't ignore is the fact that the Euro USD has actually broken out. Okay, and that certainly was coupled by the uh, Euro bond futures. If I look at the Euro bond futures, and that certainly has double topped. Okay, so a double top in the Euro certainly indicates or adds fuel for the Euro to rally. And therefore, you may well get a neutral stroke dovish minutes, which may well propel the uh, the actual uh, the Euro USD certainly higher. So again, this is looking very tricky. Not only the Euro USD propel higher, risk aversion alone could send the Euro USD higher. So again, that certainly is something to 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 be worried about. So the 60-minute chart you can see here is languishing. And certainly an argument here for a potential H&S. Okay, it's your left shoulder. This is your head. And obviously the right shoulder. Then you're looking to potentially move lower. So again, that certainly is something that you need to take into consideration. Okay, I think the uh, S&P 500 probably is the last port of call. Now the S&P 500 is actually positioned for a nice drop. I mean, that's the only thing I can see. is looking for a right shoulder, uh, right shoulder into that fib resistance. And then looking for a potential reversal. Same with regards to the Nasdaq. If I just bring up the Nasdaq as well, you're holding that Fib 75% resistance for the right shoulder, and then obviously looking to potentially move down. You can see here horizontal resistance remains. So, again, from my understanding, we are looking for that right shoulder, then obviously slam dunk on the Nasdaq itself. So, whatever is going to come out from the uh, the FOMC uh, today or the minutes today may well be the catalyst to trigger this HS. And on the uh, the actual lower high on the S and P 500 too, and therefore bears are in control. Okay, so I think that's a wrap in terms of European markets. Certainly are coming into resistance. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. The specialist in spread betting CFD brokerage, and you can earn up to 24, 25, two and a half thousand without 25 well, with the 25% cash bonus offer. Terms and conditions apply. Risk on, risk off. Wax on, wax off. Goodbye now.